Hi y'all, from the Sneak Show fam. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the upcoming Air Joint sneakers releases for April 2023. Hey, yo, it's T-Mo, the Sneak Show. Thanks for the peep, yo. Competition stand to the side like a free throw. This ain't no diss. I tell you no lie, no. Tune to my channel. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get notified when I drop new content. I don't live my life front and make sure you don't forget to hit the like button. Check me on my IG. Follow me there. Yeah, you you know I keep them J's and them Nike Airs, yeah. If you're new to the channel, I am Timo the Sneak Show and I'm an Air Jordan sneaker retro collector. Make sure you comment on the video as well because we are doing a free cash $40 giveaway. The winner will be announced and selected within 24 hours of this video uploading. But that's enough for the talk and let's get to this video. The first Air Jordan dropping in April is actually dropping on the 1st of April. On Saturday is the Air Jordan 11 Low Cement Gray. These are supposed to be dropping for $190. These were originally supposed to have elephant print somewhere on the sneaker, hence the name Cement Gray. But I guess Jordan Brand decided against adding that feature on these. But this still is a clean looking Air Jordan 11 Low. Definitely got some cool gray vibes with that gray patent leather. They also have a gray sock liner as well as hits of gray on the bottom of the sneaker, which also has a blue translucent outsole. White jump, man. The upper is white mesh. The midsole is white as well. The tongue is white with a gray strip in the middle with a Carolina blue jump, man. And Jordan written in white. The back of the sneaker has 23 in white and a blue Jumpman, and that about wraps it up for these Air Jordan 11 Low Cement Gray. On that same day of April 1st, we also have the Tiana Taylor and Air Jordan 1 High Zoom Comfort 2 collaboration. A Rose from Harlem, supposed to be dropping for $150. A Rose in Harlem is the name of Tiana Taylor's hit song that released in 2018, which is what the name of this sneaker is making a reference to. The color scheme for this sneaker is Gem Red, Black Summit, White, Earth, and Coconut Milk. On the outside of one shoe, it has a black swoosh with zigzag stitching and on the other, a red swoosh with green thorns as well as the same two types of detailing on the medial sides of the sneakers. The name Tay can be found on the left tongue as well as small X's on the toe box. The words arose from Harlem is supposed to also be printed on the inner ankle flaps as well as other details in various parts of the sneaker. Again, these are supposed to be dropping April 1st for $150. Let me know in the comment section below will you be going after these. Next up, releasing April 6th. For $200, we have the Air Jordan 3 Women's Lucky Greens. These come in a mostly white upper with hits of green, red, and gray throughout. An aged midsole, and of course, that iconic elephant print that's famous on the Air Jordan 3s. These do not come in extended sizing that I know of, but you see the green Jumpman Air Hang Tag, gray Jumpman Air logo on the back. But other than that, it's not too much to really talk about about this sneaker right here. But let me know in the comment section below, are you going to cop these? Next up, releasing on April 15th, we do have the Air Jordan 1 High OG Skyline. These will drop for $180. These, of course, have been said to be inspired by an old MJ picture of him jumping in the air with the Chicago Skyline in the background with the basketball in his hand. This was, of course, years before the Jumpman logo was ever placed on an Air Jordan sneaker, and it has been said that that photo inspired the Jumpman logo. The colorway is vivid orange, black, ice, lilac, true blue, and sale. They come with a special box, and to me personally, these are a pass, but let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about these. Next up, releasing on that same day of April 15th, we have the Air Drone 1 High OG Lucky Greens releasing for $180. I personally already have a pair of these. I copped them early from Chicago Imperium and think these are definitely a nice sneaker. I also have done early reviews and I've done a how to style like different pants, combos to ride with these. So check those videos out as well if you haven't seen them already. But this is basically a black toe color block with Celtic green popping out throughout the sneaker they come with green laces 
and an extra pair of black spare laces. I know Air Jordan ones have lost the steam that they once had in the, within the sneakerhead community, but these are nice and are definitely worth considering to add to your sneaker collection, especially if you love green and are a fan of Air Jordan ones and that black toe color blocking. But let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about these. Next up on April 22nd, we have the Air Jordan 13 Black Flint. This sneaker is wearing a black university red, flint, gray, and white color combination. The black mesh on the side panel is 3M reflective with suede, flint, gray, mud guards, and heels as well. A red jump man on the tongue and inside the insoles. The midsole and upper is white. These are clean in my opinion, but are they a must cop? Let me know down below. Also releasing on that same day of April 22nd, we do have the Air Jordan 1 High OG Women's Wash Pink. The color combination on these are Atmosphere White Mousseline Sail. These give off that Turbo Green Jordan 1 vibe from 2019. It's like that same type of material with that sort of like furry or rough looking material on the dominant color of the sneaker. These are women's exclusives, of course, like I mentioned before, but to my knowledge, these shouldn't be dropping in extended sizing, but y'all let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about these. On April 29th, we have the Air Jordan 3 Wizards. These are inspired by an actual PE that MJ himself wore on the court as a member of the Washington Wizards during his first season with the team in 2001. They definitely remind you a lot of the Air Jordan 3 True Blues. These are nice in my opinion, but I don't want to go as far as saying that these are a must cop. But let me know in the comment section below, how do y'all feel about these? Will you cop these? Will you drop these? Let me know all that good stuff below. I want to thank you all for liking this video. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload new content like this, which is every day over here at Timo the Sneak Show. We dropping a long video or a short something, but every day we got content coming for you. If you want to support the channel, you can hit the link in the description section below. We got t-shirts, hoodies, and more. I do got some special merch as well that you can cop if you DM me on Instagram or email me at teamonthesneakshow at yahoo.com. We got these tees right here. Them, you a heights beast. Me, I just like sneaks in black. We also got that joint in red and white as well. These t-shirts right here are going for $35 ship. Like I said, DM me on Instagram or email me at teamonthesneakshow at yahoo.com. We got these bad boys as well. Move out or lose out is the model. You already know what it is. If you don't put in the work, you never going to receive it. So let's get it. And we also got this right here in white right here. Uh, Team on the Sneak Show. Move out or lose out. Yes, indeed. And we also got them in that Royal Blue colorway as well, man. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. If you don't follow me on TikTok, follow me on there as well. All handles are the same. Team on the Sneak Show everywhere. Until next time, it's your boy. Stay humble. Go hard and don't let nobody stop you. One. Mm -hmm.